Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's exploration of the solar system, we are going to talk about the Venera 9 through 12 spacecraft, which explored the surface of Venus. So let's take a look at these uh, craft and what we found out from them. First of all, let's look at them in pairs. Let's look at the Venera 9 and 10, which were launched in 1975, June of 1975, and achieved Venus orbit in October of 1975. And they landed on October 22nd and October 23rd of that year. Now, why was this important? Well, this gave us the first direct views of the surface of Venus. And here we can see that image with some of the rocks there in this kind of panoramic wide field view. You can see the horizon and the sky off to the very right hand side there. You can see portions of the spacecraft in the near areas toward the bottom of the image. And this was really our first images. We can really see volcanic rocks on the surface of Venus. So we can study them. We can compare them to rocks that we know of on Earth. And we find that the rocks are volcanic and that Venus is known for having volcanic rocks, much as Earth does and as we see elsewhere in the solar system, including places like our moon. This survived about one hour on the surface. So we were able to study and see images like the one we show here, as well as another one, this one from Venera 10. And again, uh, you can see the craft in the foreground and you can see some of the uh, rocks out there. Now there was a a problem with these in that there was a design flaw and we'll see that when we talk about the other two but they let there were two cameras and only one lens cap came off so certain types of images wider field view images were unable to be obtained one hour on the surface because the conditions on Venus are so intense very high temperatures very high pressures and a corrosive atmosphere especially the upper levels of the atmosphere are highly corrosive and therefore not very good holding up to uh, spacecraft traveling through them. Venera 11 and 12 also had issues they were about three years later in 1978 uh, were launched in September and landed in December on December 21st and 25th. And this is the design flaw that I already mentioned. The lens cap did not separate. These ones gave us no images because the lens cap stayed on the camera. They did survive a little bit longer, but only about an hour and a half. The conditions on Venus are just that intense that it is very difficult to have a craft survive for a long time there as compared to looking at the moon or Mars. However, the Venera 11 and 12 craft did detect a few things such as evidence of lightning and carbon monoxide in the atmosphere. So let's go ahead and finish up with our summary and see what we've talked about with the Venera 9 through 12 craft. And what we looked at is that Venera 9 and 10 were the very first craft to send back images from the surface of another planet. They found evidence of volcanic rocks on the surface and are our only direct views of the surface of Venus. The Venera 11 and 12 gave us some additional studies of the atmosphere, but because the lens caps did not separate, no images were obtained by these craft. So that concludes this discussion of the Venera 9 through 12 spacecraft. We'll be back again next time for another topic in astronomy. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.